Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Call Halalim La Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawa Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone GMS who rule well in time. It is true. Uh, peace, love, and salutation to you, uh, uh, sincere Akim, who are, you know, making your body a living sacrifice, pushing this truth out in the highways and byways. You know, the the house of Dawada, the Baya Dawada. Okay. Uh, shalom to the sincere Akwathium who are staying in order according to the scriptures. I am the brother Shemayim from the diligent soldier camp out here in Boston, Massachusetts. I pray to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that this lesson be edifying to the elect and the water Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for uh, putting the spirit on me to, you know, keep pushing this truth, you know, and uh, try to go hard because we almost out of here. See, today, you know, uh, at sundown, you know, we're going to have the Passover. Okay, this is uh, March 5th, you know, Sunday, 2023. You know, and Lord willing, this is the last Passover if the Lord desire, desires it. All right? So we got to stay focused, brothers. We got to endure. You know, uh, we got to remove whatever leaven we have inside of us. And we got to see the bigger picture. We got to get our priorities right. We got to see what's important. And what's important, uh, you know, making our body live and sacrifice to the Lord. Okay. So that being said, uh, I got an article that the brother uh, Lahab, you know, uh, he uh, through a spirit gave me an alley -oop. You know, and uh, I, I, uh, I'm going to take advantage of it, you know, through the spirit. And Lord willing, this lesson be edifying, like I mentioned. So that being said, before I even get this uh, article that the brother, you know, uh, passed on to me, I want to grab this scripture. Okay. This is the book of, uh, what is it? I believe is 19 and 10. Revelations 19. Was it 21? Or is it 10? Con, I think it is 10. There's the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 10. And it reads, And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See, See thou doing not, I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is a spirit of prophecy. Okay? This is John the Revelator. He's seen an angel, and you know, uh, the spirit, you know, uh, he didn't know it was an angel, so he worshipped. He he went to the feet, and the and the angel told him, you know, uh, uh, like I read, uh, see thou doing not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, worship Yahweh. You see, and the spirit of this uh precept, this verse is that spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, and this is the hopeful year of, of when prophecy uh shall come about, you know. If that makes sense, you know, this is this is the hopeful year where prophecy uh will come. You know? And one of those prophecies, you know, Abarataza is the M O T to the B, the M A R K of the beast. Okay? Uh And it's something that that is coming, man. See these devils, these devils ain't slick. These devils ain't slick, okay? They're gonna make it seem like it's something that's convenient, something that 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 uh is helpful and is beneficial for the world. All right, but ultimately, you know, it's not. It's for all. It's for full control over the mass. You know. So let's let's read this.
let's read this article, right? This is uh by uh Savannah Young. The number of automated teller machines, ATM across the US is declining as many people rely on digital payment rather than cash. Photo by Francis Dean Corbis via Getty Images. All right, so ATMs. This article is about ATMs. Cash is no longer king. See, when something is king, it has power. You see, you ever heard that saying, money is power? Well, cash is no longer king. That's what the article uh, is stating. The number of automated tailor machine ATMs across the U.S. is declining as many people rely on digital payment rather than cash. And uh, before anything, uh, YouTube... Let me see. What was, what's it's a lucky, bro. I just gotta get this. Uh okay, just in case. This is the copyright disclaimer on the section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. So, YouTube, this is fair use. Okay, let's continue. Uh, let's see. Key details the number of ATMs in the U.S are declining each year. You don't say, right? How ironic, right? Uh, going from a peak of 470,000 in 2019 to 451,000 at the end of 222. So we, we the, from ATN, right? We have gone uh, down 20,000 uh, on usage of ATMs, right? According to data from research firm Euromonitors International, right? So th this data is according uh, according to research firm Euro Euromonitor International. Let's continue. A Federal Reserve study reported at a so like a 12.4 jump in digital transaction between consumers from the first quarter of 2020 to the second. You see. And this is this is all part of 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 uh of the elites, Esau Edom, you know. Uh this is all part of the uh of the elite's agenda. This is all part of their plan. This is all part of their device. You see? This this was their this was their goal from going into a a a, a technology era, if you will. Okay, everything is electronic now from your cars. You see? Uh going from no more swiping the card to now uh inserting the card, going into now you can just scan your card. And I'm talking about debit or credit card. Okay, to the point that now uh people are able to scan their phones. Just put the phones over any uh any uh transaction machine for lack of better words, so they're able to pay. You know, it's all it's all scam based now, and this is all part of gradualism. Okay, let's see what the word gradualism means. You know, and just for ed edification purposes, because you know you never know there might be people watching this video that you know are, are new to the channel. So the word gradualism is a policy of gradual reform rather than sudden change or revolution. So it's not it's not a sudden change. It's not an immediate change. It's, it's, it's gradual, you know, slowly. Right. The hypothesis that evolution proceeded chiefly by the uh, accumulation of gradual change in contrast to the uh, punctual punctuationist. Punctuationist, it's a lot if I'm mispronouncing it. Model, let's see uh, what other words we get for gradualism.
Let's see. Continuous, creeping, uh, piecemeal, progressive, slow, steady, step by step. See, these are all words that represent gradualism. And and this technology era that we in, you know, the way that we have seen how uh, credit cards are being used, you know, this is all this is all slow and steady, but it's all step by step for a purpose. OK. Uh, we even have now where we take a pictures of your checks and it goes directly into your uh, into your uh, bank account and then you can go anywhere else again and just scan your you're the same thing you know scan your phone scan your your uh your card see it's all gradualism okay a federal reserve study reported a 12.4 jump in digital transaction between consumer from the first quarter of 2020 to the second consumers making those digital transactions for the first time jumped 18 percent over the same time cash and checks are expected to fall to 14 percent of total payment this year from 42 percent in 2010 with the most significant drop coming just after the pandemic started in 2020 according to euro monitor estimates right uh during the 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 pandemic online shopping increased as many people were stuck indoors and and fears of the crown pestilence being contracted through hand in money made cash sales decrease you see and I remember when that happened because and during the 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 uh the pandemic, right? I remember that uh I was working for for uh Amazon at the time and like the the how do I word it? The um, the amount of work skyrocketed. And when I'm saying skyrocketed, I'm saying skyrocketed. It was it was an abundance amount of work. So now let's get this scripture, okay? Uh, Second Corinthians two. Let's see. I didn't have to write KJV. Give me one second. Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. Right, it says, "Less Satan." lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, right? And devices goes into, like, plot, your scheme, you see? Something that they uh, 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 created, you know, a, a certain plot. You know, uh, Esau, even a so-called white man, right, he has an agenda to have full control over all humanity, you know? Uh, to the point that he controls everything that you do. He wants to see everything that you do. He wants to play God, as the scripture says. This this uh, uh, this nation of people, especially Amalekite, the head tribe of Esau, Edom, they want to play God, man. They want to have full control of everything you do from, from uh, where you shop, how much you buy, you see how much is in your in your in your bank account to all your medical records to what you can open or lock with your with your uh uh once you get a a keyless you know uh C hip you see all these things are are going to be in in control uh, all these things are going to be controlled by Esau Edom Right, so we're not ignorant of, of, of saying devices, man. We know that, you know, when this crown pestilence happens, it was all all a part of of you know, uh, oh, like it mentioned here, you know, uh, online online transactions, online shopping, right? Online shopping increased as many people were stuck indoors, and I remember that rumor that they were passing on. Talking about that the the crown pestilence was able to live 
on uh uh US dollars. Now isn't that isn't that convenient, huh? Isn't that convenient for this devil? You see? So of course in that time a lot of people were even scared to even have dollars, to even use dollars. Where it, it got them what? It got them programmed, right, to to be more on that uh digital transaction lifestyle, if you will. Okay? Let's continue, right? Between the fear of cash and the increase in online shopping, digital payment methods began increasing significantly and the demand for digital payment has not seemed to slow down as more people rely on digital payment rather than cash. The decrease in customers needing cash has resulted in fewer ATMs being scattered across the country due to little use of telemachines. ATMs hit a peak in 2019, with the U.S. having 470,000. But each year since the pandemic, the number of machines has dropped down to the number being at 451,000 uh, and 500. 451,500 at the end of 2022. According to data from research firm Euromonitor International, most people have begun to rely on digital payment, but they are still consumers who rely almost entirely on cash, and the decline of ATMs have been a problem as they have to travel far to find machines when before 2020, the machines were on nearly every corner. And this is part of their agenda. You see, this is part of their agenda to ultimately, at one point, you know, uh, even if there is ATMs out there to completely uh, uh, make them on, um, how, how do I word it? Uh, make them not function, for lack of better words. You know, they will not work. Every time you go to ATM, there's going to be, there's no cash in this ATM, or there's a problem with this ATM. This ATM is not working. It's out of service. Right. This is this is this is part of the agenda to ultimately take out the ATM, to ultimately take out the dollar bill. Why? Because this world wants to go into a digital currency. The world wants to uh, rule over the humanity uh, uh, by a digital currency. And and ultimately, they 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 are uh, they this world will uh, transcend to a digital currency uh, based uh, economy. It will. This is part of the Lord's plan. Ultimately, you see, because the Lord is the one that is allowing Esau to get this far. You see, uh, and let me get that in Romans because I, I mentioned that a lot. You know, uh, Romans. Uh, 13, right? I believe is in verse, is it 17? So like, yeah, Romans 9, Romans 9. Because yes, this is Esau's plot, right? This is their agenda for them to have uh, dominion over the world, not knowing that the Lord is just lifting them up just to take them down. Right, Romans 9 and 17, for the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So ultimately, you're not gonna get the your your these you see, you're gonna be able to uh uh make the dollar, you know, the economy crash. You're gonna be able to make the world go into a digital currency. You're gonna be able to make two thirds of of Israel get the C hip and the rest of the world C hip. But you will not get the elect to get C hip, and you will not get dominion over the world. You will not get everybody C hip. The Lord is not gonna allow it. See, let me get the scripture right. I think this is how it goes. Let me see. This is a scripture that the brother always get. Let 
Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Con, this one right here. This is the book of Job, chapter 20, verse 23. When he is about to fill his belly, God shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it up. It's a lot and shall rain it and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So when he's about to fill his belly, he's about to be full. He's about to have full control. The Lord shall cast the fury of his wrath. Whose wrath? The Lord's wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating, man. So while you are eating, while it make it, while you you seem that you about to have full control, you about to, you about to accomplish what you think you you wanted to accomplish, which is dominion over the world. The Lord is gonna smack that last uh 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 slice that you about to take, that last you know uh spoon that you about to take of whatever meal you're eating, man. That last bite, the Lord shall now allow it. You see, this is the Lord's movie ultimately. But this is why we got to warn you and let you know, people, to repent and come back to the Lord, because ultimately the Lord is the one that's going to choose if you're going to if you're going to take the sea hip or not. So you got to pray to the Lord that he puts a spirit on you to not take the sea hip when the time comes. Right. So that you don't get taken now in the time of the second death. You see, but you think that just because see a lot of people know about the sea hip. You see, but they don't even uh and 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 you know Israelites and heathen, but in this particular case to you to you Israelite, you so called blast of things the Native American. A lot of people, a lot of you people know about the sea here, but you're not seeking the Lord, and you think when the sea here comes, you you just gonna be like, oh, I ain't gonna take it. You don't know what situation you're gonna be put in, man. Right? Because ultimately you don't know the Lord, so you don't know that in this truth, this, some of us are gonna be a martyr. So we gotta die for you, how shy. So that we can be the first ones risen because we died for you, Howard Shai. You see? Let me let me get that, okay? Uh it speaks about it on um Revelations 14 and 13. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, he says the spirit that they may rest from their labor and their works do follow them. Let's see. Verse 14. And I looked and behold a white cloud. Right. You see he's talking about the chariots. And upon the cloud one sat like unto the son of man. Who's that son of man? Uh, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, having on his head a golden crown and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, thrust in thy sickle and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And this is the time of the destruction upon the world, you know, uh, when the Lord takes out the wicked. But let's see, where was I going with this? Where was I? Where's 15? Let me see. 14 and 15. Mm, so this is not what I was trying to get. Give me one second, Salakia. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let me see. Let me get this. All right. Because I want to, I want to make that point, you know, that, that what Esau doing, what Esau Edom is doing, right? Uh, through gradualism ultimately is to bring the sea hip out and about, you see, and, we're going to read what the sea hip is about in Revelation and what's going to happen if you take the sea hip, man. There's no repentance for it. 
See, for, but our job as men of the Lord is to warn you people to understand what is this devil's plan, right? Pursuit to the book of 2 Thessalonians when it says that we're going to reveal, right? It's prophecy that we're going to reveal the, the, the man of sin, the son of perdition, right? Which is Esau, Edom, so-called white man. You see, we're revealing his plan. This is prophecy for us to do this. Also pursuit to the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Right, when we're going to be bold as lions to the face of our adversary. You see, and how we do this by doing sit downs, by going out in the highways and byways, by uploading our videos on YouTube. Right, these devils know. These devils watch. Okay? So, ultimately, as they're planning this, and, 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 and you know, they're slowly, uh, 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 diminishing the value of the dollar and, and, you know, allowing the economy to crash and then ultimately, you know, uh, moving technology to an era where ultimately their final goal is to just have a digital currency, you know, as they're doing this, they don't know that this is the Lord's movie. They think this is for their own benefit, but this is the Lord's movie. You see, so ultimately, this is why you got to still, you Israelites, repent, be humble, seek the Lord, pray to the Lord so that he can listen to your prayers, so that he can guide you, so that he can be the one that, so that the Lord can be the one that protect you in the time of trouble. You see, Proverbs 20, 24, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own ways? The Lord's the one that controls your ways, man. How can you understand your own ways? You can't just be prideful, not seek the Lord right now, and then in the time of, of the sea hip, they're going to force you to take it. You're going to be like, oh, I'm not going to take it. If the Lord don't put that spirit on you, you're going to take it, man, and you're going to be taken out, especially if you part of two-thirds. Right? This is the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with a voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. So this is this is what we're saying, man. That that some of us are gonna be a martyr, you see, for the Lord. But if you don't know the Lord and you just know about the sea here, but you don't know the Lord, when the time comes, why will you risk your own life if you don't know the Lord? Right? You're gonna be like, F it, I don't want my family or my children or my people to get taken out. So I'm gonna just take it so that they can survive. I don't want my people to starve, so I'm gonna just take it so they can survive. You see, because you have no faith in the Lord and you're not willing to make your body a living sacrifice for the Lord. You're not willing to to be a martyr for the Lord in in in, in time when that time comes, right? Because there's gonna be guillotines that's gonna come around. You see, so if you don't believe and trust in the Lord, especially for you Muslims out there, right? Uh, 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 you Jakes that follow that 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 religion, you you don't know who you're gonna die for, man. And if you do that, but it's not for the Lord, you think you're gonna be risen up? It says, "And the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. Okay, now let's uh let's finish up. I believe this is it. Let me see. Although the demand for cash and ATM has slowly uh, significantly has slowed significantly, banking experts say that the ATM are a key aspect of the banking industry, and the machines are not expected to go and stick anytime soon. You know, just a lot of blah blah blah. Okay, let me see. Taking a look, a look at a career path, nonlinear path, or international nonlinear career path dif differs from. Let me see. Okay, so you know I'm a, I'm gonna put this article in the description box. All right. Uh, let's get let's go to the Book of Revelations. Okay, the Book of Revelation. Let's start at verse uh chapter thirteen. We can start at verse sixteen. Okay, the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16, it said, and he causes all both small and great. You see, this is gonna be the 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 uh the final uh 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 what's the word this is gonna be the final part you know let's just put in simple words it's gonna be the final part of you know the economy crashing you know the dollar having no value uh, and the world going to a digital currency right it's gonna be the c hip okay so Revelation 13 and 16, and he causes all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a M-A-R-K in their right hand or in their foreheads, okay? 
and that no man might buy or sell. Remember what happened in the pandemic, right? People were were uh, doing uh, 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 online transactions, right? That was online transaction was skyrocketing. You see, and that no man might buy or sell. And 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 me using that example is just proving that it's this is gradualism. Uh, try and reach to the final point, which is the C hip. Okay. People are getting used to uh doing online payments even more now. Okay, this is all part of their agenda. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the, the M-A-R-K or the name of the beast or the number of his name. You see, the M-A-R-K, the name of the beast or the number of his name is all the same. Is a, is that physical uh, uh, uh object, Right, the C hip, the rice device that's gonna be implanted in your forehead or in your hand. Right? Here is wisdom, verse 18. Here is wisdom, right? Which the M A R K goes into the Greek word uh karagma. Okay. Here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the numbers of the beast, right? For is a number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Right. Ultimately, this means six, six, six. Right. That's the number of a man. And his number is is hundred is six hundred and three score and six. OK, because this C hip is going to have a barcode and every barcode. There's uh, uh, there's three sets of two lines that are the biggest lines out of every single line in the barcode. OK, and those lines right represent six, six, six. OK, uh, that being said, let's go to the next chapter. Revelation chapter 14, verse seven. Right. Saying with a loud voice, fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come and worship him that he that and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the foundation of the water. Verse eight. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, the great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. You see, Babylon, a.k.a. America, is going to fall, man. Okay, she's going to fall, man. And every nation that has taken on her philosophy and has joined her, has been with her, and has flourished off this Western philosophy, this Western culture, this, this, this wicked and 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 dark, you know, uh, a spirit that Babylon pushes, right? The wine, her philosophies, right? A perverse spirit, you know. Uh, uh, they also gonna get judged, but America's gonna get it the worst because she's the one that influenced the whole world. See verse nine, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast and his image, right." Because that beast is 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 uh is a so-called white man, Esau Edom, right? And his image is his philosophy, and you're gonna worship the beast, right? And his image, his philosophy. You believe in his ways and everything that he stands for, right? By what? By receiving this M A R K in in his forehead or in his hand. When you receive this mark, you have totally submitted to the so-called white man. Fully submitted, man. You are head underground bend over type of submission verse 10 the same so if, if anybody takes his mark the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of god you see you're gonna get this punishment man which is poured out without mixture meaning no mercy you're gonna get no mercy man when the lord uh brings his wrath upon you which is going to be the second death caused, you know, by the ICBM missiles in the time of the third world, which is World War Three, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb, which is the Lord Yahweh shot, man. So fire is going to rain upon you, man. These ICBM missiles. There's no, there's no repentance for this, man. Okay, there's no repentance for this, and 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 we're telling you right now that the C hip is coming, man. We see it through 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 all their uh uh, uh media outlets that they have, you know, that they push out this uh uh C hip agenda through gradualism. Okay, and the world's going into a digital currency, and if you don't see that, then you gotta wake the f up, man. 
Okay, I pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh this lesson was edifying to the elect. Let's give all praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors again to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, GMS, who rule well in time of this truth. All right, peace, love, and salutate, uh, uh, salutation to you, uh, sincere Akiyam, you know, the Bayadawada that are pushing this truth, you know, making your body a living sacrifice out there on the highways and byways. Okay, uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akwathiam, who are staying in order according to the scriptures. Okay, let's finish off by saying DTA. A baba ba, a baba ba, okay? Kwam ya sharala, kwam ya sharala, kwam ya sharala. Lord willing, on to the next one. Shalom.